Hi everybody, Tony LaBerge here with Zimbrick Audi. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about some of the, the nuances with uh, some of our technology. Now, all cars tend to have similar names for different technologies they use. So like your 360 camera, your blind spot assistant, uh, your active radar cruise control. Now, people come car shopping and they don't have time to really test out every single feature all the time. So what we have to do is kind of try the best we can as salespeople to, to try to get them to learn these nuances um, in the short time that we have with them. Um, so that's usually pretty hard to do because we don't get that much time with our clients. Uh, they're too busy. They got other stuff going on. They got to look at a bunch of different brands of cars. So this video is going to show you two of the features that I really like about the Audi and how they're different from some of the competitors. All right, let's get going. So one of the features that is really different between the different brands are these, these active radar cruise controls. Everybody's got their different take on it. They want it to do different things. So one thing that I really appreciate about the Audi system is something called predictive control. Now what predictive control is, is it's gonna monitor, if you have like your navigation destination entered in there, um, it's gonna monitor your upcoming turns. So when you have an upcoming turn loaded into your navigation, it is actually gonna start slowing you down. There's no traffic there, um, nobody in your way, but the car's gonna automatically just start slowing you down so that you can take that turn. Then as soon as you take that turn, it's gonna go ahead and disengage that, that slowdown and then you'll be back up to your normal cruise control speed, uh, assuming that there's nobody in the way. Now, navigation destinations, um, also if you are just not in nav, but you're coming up on like a roundabout and it knows you need to slow down for that, it's gonna go ahead and do that for you. So it makes it super handy when you're driving around, um, especially places you don't know, late at night, it's gonna really help you kind of remove some of that stress from your drive. Now, most of the cruise controls I've seen do not have that feature. Um, and it really, really adds to the benefit of the, the system. All right, so what I've just done is I have turned on adaptation to the route ahead. What that's gonna do is it's gonna watch for turns in my navigation or just turns that you're coming up on naturally and it's gonna adapt to them. So it's gonna slow down to a safe cornering speed for you. So you can, without having to brake, you know, yourself manually, it's gonna slow you down for that turn and then you're gonna be able to take that turn and then it'll you know, resume back at your previous set cruise control speed, assuming there's nobody in the way. When you see the green road in your virtual cockpit, that's gonna be the indicator that you have your predictive control engaging. So when you see that little road, or in my heads up display, I see the road and a little picture of the speedometer, um, that's indicating it's going and it's actually slowing the vehicle down actively to a speed that's safer for taking that corner. So as part of the Audi driver assistance package, this vehicle has active lane keeping. Uh, very neat system and there's a few aspects to it. So once you, you activate the active lane keeping and you're out on the highway or your road in cruise control, it's gonna start monitoring the road for painted lines. And once you get a couple good solid painted lines on either side, it's gonna turn the little indicators green to let you know that, hey, the system is active and it's watching the lanes. Now it does a few things. So first, um, active lane keeping. So there's two different settings you could have. You could have early or late. I prefer late. What that does is it acts kind of like, it acts like the bumpers in bumper bowling. So it's not gonna try to keep you in the dead center of your lane. What it's gonna do is once you kind of try to get to the side, if you're not paying attention, you go over to the side, it's just gonna kind of gently nudge you back in. Uh, the alternative setting is early. Um, and what that does is it's going to try to keep you dead in the center of your lane. Um, kind of more autonomous, like it's doing it all for you. I prefer the late setting just because I like to do the driving and I'm a little bit smoother on the wheel, I think. The other aspect of this product is going to be the lane departure warning. So what that does is, even if it's not doing the active lane keeping, it's just got like one lane, one side um, indicated, 
if you start to cross over like a solid line, it's gonna do a couple things. It's gonna light up red in your indicator, and then it's also gonna give you a little vibration on the steering wheel to let you know, hey, you know, you're kind of merging out of your lane. So right now we're in active cruise control, and there's a somebody in front of us going slower than we have our cruise set at. So you'll see that the little green car with the radars and then hitting another green car in front. So that's indicating that there is another person in front of you. Now I get the predictive cruise and we're gonna keep going straight. All right, so I've got two nice painted lines and it's indicating the system is working. Now if I gently go off the road, you'll see it lights up red and I got a little vibration on the steering wheel in addition to kind of pulling me back in because uh, I do have it set at late intervention. All right, so Audi's blind spot system, Audi calls it Audi side assist. So one of the things I really appreciate about the Audi system is that it doesn't take your blinker to activate this system. It does it based on distance between you and the blind, the person in your blind spot. So if I just start to move in on that person, it's automatically gonna flash at me and let me know, hey, somebody's there. Um, I didn't use my blinker, it was just there for me. So, and it's the same if they try to move in to me. If they start coming over into my lane, it's gonna give me that flash to let me know that there could be a collision. Now that is something I haven't seen on any of the other blind spot systems. They're all, you know, blinker activated, and that's really not helpful, as helpful as it could be. All right, so what I want you to know, at Zimbrick Audi, we are happy to take as long as it takes to demonstrate the features of our vehicles, our Audis, um, and the nuances of it. So please come in, make sure you have enough time. Um, we'll spend as long as it takes. So if you need two, three hours test driving these vehicles, using these driver assistance systems, that's what we're gonna do. Um, because we really want you to understand that there is a difference in Audi technology. It's not like everything else out there. Um, and to, to learn that, you really gotta get behind the wheel and spend some time.